Hey everybody, welcome to our Week in Check-In video for Psych 5 Social Psychology for Saturday, April 15th. Just going to go over a few items as I always do, so let's get started. First up here is that your uh, final literature review paper assignment. That was due uh, the last day you could have turned it in was Thursday of this past week. They're on the 13th, so most of you turned it in, so I was pleased to see that. I will post an announcement when I've got all those graded there. I wait till I have all of them graded, and then I just post everything all at once like that. And so do keep an eye out for that. It's probably going to be at least a week there, but I, I will try to get to that as soon as I can. It's a... Uh, pretty busy here these days, but I, I will get to those. And so just keep an eye out for that announcement. Uh, next up here is your most recent chapter 10 on relationships. That discussion for that closed uh, yesterday there on Friday. So most of you did a nice job addressing how COVID impacted your relationships and what you did to uh, compensate for that. So I was pleased to uh, see that there. Next up is our last chapter in this uh, unit four, our chapter on prejudice, discrimination, and stereotyping is chapter 11. That quiz and discussion will be due uh, next Friday on the 21st there. And as always, keep in mind that time differential. The discussion is due at 9 p.m. The quiz is due at 11.59 p.m. And this particular time, you're going to be taking a look at it, a little uh, short video. It's from that What Would You Do uh, series on ABC. Again, I want you to watch something and just give me your thoughts about how you think that relates to our some of the content in our chapters. So it's a pretty compelling video this time. I, I think you'll agree. Uh, next up here is that your unit four exam will be happening not next week, but the following week, Monday, Monday through Wednesday, pardon me, April 24th through 26th. You will get an announcement early next week to remind you about all that. So do take note of that. Keep an eye out for it. As always, use your study guide to help you prepare uh, for the exam, especially regarding the two short answer essay questions. I'm sure you all know by now I have two areas on every study guide that I've italicized with some asterisks all around it. Um, that's going to be the content your two essay questions are based on. So do prepare that content well and when you answer those questions as always you know per the instructions and per course announcements do not just copy and paste information from your textbook nor from some psychology website you find online or use some AI generator because I have ways to detect all those things and please do not do that please make sure you paraphrase just like you would in a face-to-face -face class when you take an exam you would just answer things in your own word that's the best way to do it there that way you won't have any uh, problems with that so I uh, do keep that in mind uh, also, don't forget your inquisitive assignments, as usual, will be due on the Sunday evening before the exam opens up on the following Monday. So on Sunday, April 23rd, you need to have your inquisitive chapters uh, 9, 10, and 11 finished there. So make sure that you've got those uh, all squared away there. It does take you some time to get through those. And again, remember, uh, if you didn't get the highest score possible the first time around when you went through the question, just go back in and try again to raise your score. The system is designed to allow you to do that to keep trying to raise your score as long as the final deadline to submit hasn't passed uh, you do have that option to do that that's uh, pretty much everything I wanted to say for this time uh, we are going to have our usual live session on Monday at 1 o'clock there on zoom so uh, please come if you can it's basically open office hours I'll just address whatever questions anybody has that shows up there uh, so I'll be hanging out there for that hour otherwise if you need anything else in the meantime please reach out via email on canvas and I'll get back to you Otherwise, I will see you in those uh, lecture videos. Uh, so uh, take care until then and hope you're having a good weekend. All right. Bye-bye.